Okay, uh, Pancho, take two. And um, so we're going to do a real quick demonstration of the uh, basic idea of making um, a poncho. This is my character down there. There's uh, his neck or his head and shoulders. And up on top, I just have a plane. I just made it green just so you can see it. Um, and what I'm going to do now is head on into edit mode here on the plane. Make sure I'm on the plane. Edit mode. Give it a couple loops. Start cutting it a little bit. That way, the other way. Now I want to take out this middle uh, face. Delete that face. Got a hole here. Take a top view, there we go. And I want to shrink it down a bit. So it's uh, closer to the size of the uh, little object below it, or the head of it. And I think I need to move everything over this way. Um, let me move these over. That looks vaguely right. And this is a sloppy version because I'm not taking all my uh, points with me in a straight line. But uh, this might work well enough just to show, make the point. Okay, so we've got that with the hole and that with that. Um, okay, we'll get on to this base figure. I'm going to add a modifier for this one for collision. That's all I really have to do for that unless I want to tweak it, which I don't. And next one I want to go to the plane, add a modifier for, um, actually two modifiers, and this uh, have to do it in the right order. So first we'll do a subdivision to break it up. And I could do it a, a couple different ways. This is uh, say about five or six divisions. I could do it simple, or if I do this, it'll get like rounded out the edges a little bit. Um, but other than that, it's just going to break it up like we've done before. Add a second one, which is a cloth. And uh, that should be enough to really get it going. Let's put my um, down here. I'm going to bring this up a little bit and make this my timeline. I can watch the animation. There it is. Okay, and um, we should be able to run this now. So if I got the size of that hole right, it should pretty much slip over the head. And you'll see it start to drape. Poncho like. Over the character. It might take it 50 or so frames. Um, the one thing I found out is that if I put on uh, intersection with itself or collide, collide with itself with a cloth it, um, there we go it um, takes a long time so I'm going to shade that smooth and you can see this is not perfect there's places where the cloth do come, does come through itself but here's the basic idea so now I've just got this cloth draped over um, my little character and just pretend that's the shoulders and uh, we you know work with the shape better and do some more with this but that's really it for the for the poncho okay